guys that came in were talking about having to wake up at 4 a.m. and fly over here, but have, were you already in, in the area? No, so I flew back to Florida where my parents moved out to, and so central time I woke up at like 3.30. So pretty much the same thing, yeah, and came over here. Okay, how did you feel about getting drafted by the Niners? Did you, have, were they the team that you had expected or one of them? Or, you know, I was pumped not? up. Was, uh, I wasn't really expecting it. It's I thing I only talked to the 49ers once. Um, and so, but when they did call, I was super excited. And I'm 20 minutes down the road from Stanford. And so, you know, I still have a lot of friends over there, relationship with the coaches. So it was a good spot for me. Did you ever go to a Niners game? I did. It was when Christian and Solomon had their first game. A couple years back, I went to that with a few buddies. You still close with Solomon? Yeah, yeah. It's um. So he has a house over in Palo Alto, and so during this training, I was over in the East Bay, and me and a couple friends would go over to his house, hang out there. It is when when you get drafted to a, a team that already has George Kittle. I mean, how how conscious were you of, of the year George put together oh, yeah. last no. year, and, and how do you envision how you might you know not replicate it, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I saw what he did last year, and I'm really excited. Come in, learn under him. Um, eventually, 5-4 spot. You know, I'm not really sure what my role is yet, but, you know, I'm just going to go play football, enjoy it, have fun, and uh, keep learning. Have you talked to George at all yet? You know, right after I got dra uh, drafted, he texted me, just good luck, and, you know, he's happy I'm on the team, and, you know, he's pumped up. What do you expect to get out of just rookie mini camp in general? You know, it's it's great to just go out on the field again and actually compete against some other guys. Um, you know, I want to you know understand where I'm at right now and kind of continue to develop my skill um, and just kind of get ready for the, the next thing. Is it a feeling out process in terms of how exactly you're going to be used, or is it just so new that you're just sort of trying to get ingratiated with your surroundings? Right now, just you know getting used to it, but you know really go out there and compete right now, um, and you know I'm. It's one of those things, yeah, you don't really understand the role so far, but you just want to go out, compete, and have fun. When you, just, look, at, when you look at the playbook, is it, you know, look oh, too, yeah. too different? It's, uh, no, it's, it's very similar to what we did at Stanford. You know, some of the um, same formations and similar play goals and concepts. So um, it's it was so far easy to learn. Cool. Stanford's had so many tight ends come into the NFL over recent years. Did, when you went there, did you? On the mm -hmm. NFL roster, right when you're coming out of school, and yep. highly regarded. Yeah, no, I mean one of the th reasons I went to Stanford was they had an NFL offense with NFL lingo, and a lot of tight ends go into the league, and they don't really have a big problem learning, you know, the new plays and everything. So it's something I, you know, look back and think of. All right, this is what I want, and it's kind of where I'm at right now. Have you heard from some of the other guys that have come through into the NFL since you got drafted? Or yeah, it's, um, you know, I talked to Ertz a little bit, um, Hooper, Schultz, you know, they all texted me and like, congrats and good luck. I guess you're coming into the NFL in the same year as Witten, which... Oh, <laughs> yeah, in a way, yep, uh -huh. that's right. It's... When when that news came out, you know, just kind of given that connection, mm -hmm. Texas, and all that, would that strike you that he was coming back? Well, honestly, no, you know, I understand he's a competitor. I've always been a big fan of his, and... Um, you know, seeing him come back, it's not really that surprising. And so it's kind of exciting to see what he's going to do. Were you a Cowboys fan? I can't remember where, where uh, so, Flower Yeah, Flower Mount, it's in the Dallas area. I would never say a huge Cowboys fan, but I was a Jason fan. Are there anything in particular that you picked up from him and his game that you were mm -hmm. able to incorporate? Yeah, kind of understanding that. Um, he's not always the fastest guy on the field, but he understands how to like read defenses and he really stays low in blocks. And you'll go up against some freakish defensive ends and you know just dominate them. Well, speaking of not being the fastest guy on the field, you didn't have a particularly good time uh, mm -hmm. yourself at the pro day, right? That, did you feel w w was that a surprise to you, or is it uh, yeah? So I ran at the combine and then ended up just not running at pro day. I was just ready to get back to football and. Figure a team would draft me based off my skills, and I was just ready to go. What are those skills? Like, how can, how can you mm -hmm. be productive without without being a blazer? Yeah, no, it's uh, I get open as you see. It's at Stanford through nine games, I had forty-seven catches. So you know, separation isn't really a problem for me. 
Um, and then blocking too, you know, understand staying low and going against some bigger guys and really, you know, doing well against them. Is your weight right where they want you to be? You know, I haven't really communicated with them where they want it to be, but, you know, I'm comfortable right now at 248. Late in the game here, that Pac-12 title game, when you scored that touchdown, mm -hmm. that seam route, what, what play was that? It seemed that was kind of your bread yeah. and butter. Yeah, uh, that was just a simple three-by-one, four verticals. And so, yeah, I was the number two receiver, and um, my job is either bend it or just keep it vertical. So I just kept it vertical, and KJ threw it up and trusted me. Is that something that is an example of something Stanford has in their playbook that, that carries over to, to an NFL type play? Yeah, you know, I saw one play in the playbook that's, you know, a little similar to it. Um, and so, we'll see if I get a run in today. Nice. What do you think, last one, what do you think Stanford fans are going to see from Parkinson next year? You know, I, he's been working on his blocking a lot. So, you know, he's been working on his mobility so he can get lower. And, you know, he's going to step in as the new seam guy, I imagine. And, you know, do a great job with blocking, too. All right. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks. 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 Thanks.